In this video, I'm going over gaming on Linux. So to get gaming set up on Linux, it's a little more involved. First, you have to install a Wine, DXVK, and then a bunch of dependencies that are reliant on many of these games that we're going to be playing. Now, if it's a native Linux game, most of this stuff, all you need is a, a driver. In, in most cases, that's already installed, so you can actually play most Linux games out of the box. However, for Windows games, there's a lot of stuff you go through, and I want to kind of walk through playing all of that because I have hundreds of Windows games that I play in Linux. However, the setup process is a little involved, so I want to go ahead and walk you through that. So to start out here, we need to install DXVK, which translates DirectX into a system call that Linux can read. And then we need to install Lutris, which is a fantastic game manager to where you can manage Steam games, Epic Launcher games, uh, Origin games, all these in one spot, which is fantastic. Then we also need to install Wine, which really makes a lot of this happen on the back end. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into our terminal and do these installs. So we'll go sudo apt install dxbk, and then we also need Lutris, and then we also need wine-staging. Uh, so we'll enter our system password. Let's see what it finds. So on this one, it was not able to find WineHQ, which was we do need. So let's go ahead and look at the actual page, DXVK. It'll say Wine Dependencies. I'm going to go ahead and click here. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Ubuntu Derivatives. Most distributions fall into this realm, and Pop! OS is an Ubuntu Derivative. So we can easily run these commands. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll pull this over and I'm going to just kind of put this on the right hand side and we're just going to copy paste this in. When pasting in you hold control shift and press V to do a paste. For that let's go ahead copy this control shift V enter. It's downloaded the key and now we're just adding the key. All right it has added the key and now we need to add the repository. Now I'm on Pop! OS, the latest one, which is 1904, which is this one right here. So we just need to copy this guy. Copy, paste. All right, it has downloaded that repository. So basically, anytime you do a sudo update now, sudo apt update, which updates the system, it'll go ahead and pull in any extra packages from WineHQ. That's what that command did when we added the repository. So with this, we should be able to go back in our command structure just pressing the up arrow. And let's see if we can do winehq-staging. It did find that. Um, it did notice that wine was already installed and it will be removed, which is fine. Um, a couple other things, I believe Lutris was already installed and DXVK. But there's going to be a lot of stuff in this because there is a ton of packages that are required for gaming. So let's go ahead and hit yes to this and install all these packages. After this is done, there's a couple more packages I go through and install, especially since I play some EA Origin games. And their launcher requires a couple weird dependencies that aren't installed by default. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. Once it finishes, I'm going to install those. Okay, with that installed, let's go ahead and flip back to Wine Dependencies. Under Wine Dependencies, if you scroll down, for compatibility reasons, install these extra libraries. We'll go ahead, scroll over, highlight all those, and copy and paste that into here as well. Most of them were already there, so we're good on that. So one other thing I highly recommend for performance reasons is install game mode. So let's go ahead and do sudo apt install game mode. This basically restricts any uh, governors on your CPU so it can run at max power and you'll be able to play games at a really sweet rate. You'll, I've seen some bumps of 20-30% in some games just by having game mode. So it went ahead and set this up 
So we have game mode installed, we have all our dependencies, we have all the stuff we need to make games work. So let's go ahead and launch Lutris. Under games on our start menu, we'll go ahead and hit Lutris and it'll launch into that. Now this is the default mode. It's kind of bright, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to dark mode. And then let's go ahead and do preferences. From here, you can actually enable game mode. Um, we need to find the game mode variable, so let's go ahead and search for that and enable it here. Okay, since this actually, I can't enable game mode, we're gonna actually have to manually do it by opening up terminal, and then we do a find command for libgamemode, asterisk. So with this, we need this guy right here, this entire path is what we need. It ends in lib game mode auto dot so dot zero. This is the one value we need to enable game mode across the board. So we'll go ahead and hit add. Under the key, it'll be ld underscore preload. That is the key name. And then we just simply paste this in for the value. With that, go ahead. I got a special character in there. We'll go ahead and get that. All right. So we've done that. Now we need to do more performance optimizations just so we have a really nice thing. Now it depends on what game you're running. Uh, some games really respond well to this. Some other games don't. Um, but if we look at our performance tweaks here, we can go ahead and kind of scroll down. It says enable game mode. We just did that. Um, the next thing is GPU optimization. Now if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you want to use these where you'd put this right here as the value or the actual key, and then you put zero or one as the value. Same thing here. I'm actually using an AMD GPU, so I need this as the key, and then need to set it to true. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go add, set the key, message GL3, GL thread, and set true. With this, we are pretty much ready to go. Uh, as far as these performance tweaks, I didn't really see much else in here that they recommend. Uh, one other thing on that we need to make sure is eSync is enabled. Now, Pop OS by default has just a fantastic compatibility. A lot of the default things the developers have done with this operating system has just a, a done a great job with the actual enabling of some of these options. So to enable eSync, let's first need to check to make sure it's not already enabled. We do this by doing new limit dash hn. That's a capital H and a lowercase n. You'll see it responds with about a million uh, for the number. Even if it was about 500,000, that would be okay. But if it responds with 4,096 or some really low number like that, then you do need to make some changes. And for that, definitely follow this article. Uh, there's usually three files you're gonna need to change and just follow those and then just set this option right here, default limit no file in the system.conf, user.conf, and then also in the limits.conf. After you've installed it in those three, reboot and eSync will be good to go. And what eSync really does is it takes a little bit of a load off wine, so it just runs a little bit better. So by no means is it like absolutely necessary, but you're gonna get a little bit better for performance in most games with eSync. And one other thing is on Pop! OS, pretty much all the graphics drivers are baked into the, the actual distribution, so it's pretty sweet. However, if you're using other distributions, sometimes this isn't the case. On Lutris's Wikipedia, definitely go to install drivers and follow this examples to actually install it. Now, since this is Pop! OS, again, I don't need to do any of this, but if you're using like Ubuntu or even a vanilla Debian or another distribution that didn't have the drivers, you would need to do this. However, almost, I think on Ubuntu in this uh, Pop! OS, almost all of these derivatives have them to where when you install Steam and Lutris, it just goes ahead and includes like the message drivers and other things. But if you do have problems and you don't know if the drivers are installed, come to this portion of the wiki and follow these instructions because you absolutely have to have drivers installed. We have done all the optimizations we need to do for this Linux box so we can now install and play games. 
So there you have it. That was gaming on Linux with these performance tweaks and other things I added in here. You should have a very pleasurable experience. Let me know in the comments section down below if you have any issues. And I'll see you on the next video.